Hello, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I can hear you. No, you don't hear me. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Now, yes, now, yes. Okay, good, good, good. So tell me, Ivan, how was your day? Well, uh, it was great because uh, tomorrow will be a, a concert of compassion in mm -hmm. President Theater because uh, our children are in the, the symphonic compassion. In... What, is, what is compassion? It's, it's a O N G S O N G S O N G N G O O N G O es una O N G compasión N G O N G O N G N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G O N G in the afternoon. At what time? Uh, like a four. What? Like a four. Okay. Or the afternoon. Okay. Good. And we'll be, well, tell me a little bit about what do they do or what music or what's going on. Uh, no, they, she are learning music in another church. Okay. Because because no, we are uh, the uh, tabernacle. Biblical Bautista is my church. Mm -hmm. he, our children is in, in our CDI, Centro de Desarrollo Integral. Okay. We have a CDI and in, in a, we send we send they and another church to learning a cello, trompeta, I don't know. Uh huh. Trumpet. Trumpet. Mm -hmm. Guitar, uh, is several instruments for for a uh, uh, for a, a symphonic. Okay. Symphonic. It is, we are excited because mañana we we gonna we gonna eat. tomorrow we 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 go at the concert. Excellent, excellent. All right, Ivan. Well, have a good time. I hope you enjoy it and have you are very proud of the kids. It's wonderful. Sí, I guess. Yesterday we were working until midnight, preparing all the instruments and streets and dresses and shoes, and all all. all. For, for, for our boys. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. We are ready for tomorrow. We are ready. <laughs> wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So, do you imagine a lot of people are going to go? Would you please? Do you imagine that a lot of people are going to go, Ivan? Yes, I imagine. It's, uh, so we are like uh, uh, 20 church with 20 city eyes and then arrive like uh, 200 persons. 200 people. People, people are the the president, president here. Okay. It's, it's full, it's full of the concert. Excellent. That's great. Great news. Great news. Because yeah, even, and for the children, it's very important because they say, oh my God, this is serious. This is serious. Yes, yes. I, I could tell I, could, I We are very happy because it is a two time of the year uh, we have this concert. Okay. Tomorrow's tomorrow will be the fifth concert, and the next uh, um, November month. Uh huh. In November. In November. 
remember. No, a ver. Por ahí, por ahí. Ok. Will be the ah. next. Ok, ok. Good. Okay, teacher. All right. Well, good luck. I see we have many people here today. Great. Oh, my God. Oyente, oyente, oyente. I see a lot. Right away, I see only three students I am going to have today. Four. Uh, okay. I, I will connect in a while. No problem. I can, no problem. I, I, we can talk in a while. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. No problem. Daniel, tell me. Hello, teacher and everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Daniel. I, hey, good hey. evening, Daniel. I, I, good evening. Hey, hello, Iran. I hope that you have a good, good, a good day. In San Martin, it's raining, but it's a little bit rainy. Uh, I think in another another city next to San Martin, it's raining a lot because. I can see uh, some lighting and and I feel to the raining is strong in other in other city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I haven't seen San Martin, but ah, it's been it's good. It's good that we <laughs> we take a look. All right. So. Thank you very much for connecting. I know that maybe a little bit later, um, more people will be able to speak. Some are driving on their way home. So it's okay. We understand. It's no problem. Today, we're going to continue um, finishing the idea and continue with our platform 5.4. Yesterday, we finished 5.3. We had a lot of practice for the Unreal Conditional. Um, I think it should be clear now how we use it and when we use it. Um, here we have many different statements. Remember, always, if we use with the past tense, then in the second part, we use the modal and the verb in present. So you can change order, but always with the if, the verb in the past tense. Right? So let's double check. Ivan, can you do number one? Daniel, number two. So, Ivan, you're going to do number 1A and 1B. Daniel, you're going to do number 2A and number 2B. Hector is going to do 3A and 3B. And then, um, Nelly, can you speak or no? Yes. Yes, okay. And then Nelly is going to do 4A and 4B. Um because we only have a few people, since many people are just listening tonight. Okay, so Ivan, make your decision, 1A and 1B. What for you is the correct answer? Number one, if you have three months to travel, where, where would you go? Okay. I think. All right. No problem. No problem. And here, letter B. But if you that to... No, letter B, Ivan. Letter B. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. Uh, play two or something. Number two. Okay, all right. Read number two, Ivan. Read it. Okay. If you doctor, if you doctor. No, no, no. no. Okay, oh, answer. that, that. Uh, huh? Sorry, sorry. Can I don't see? No problem. No problem, Ivan. Oh, that easy. Or oh, that. Or oh, that's easy. I will fly to Antarctica. I always wanted to go there. Okay. What okay. section is? What section is? This. this is 5.4. Knowledge check 5.4. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. All right. Daniel, you have 2A and 2B. Sorry, sorry. The number 2A is I select the number one is what would 
you do if your car broke down? You are doing number three. You have number two. Yeah, the number two. If you're a doctor. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me see. Uh, if you, if you doctor tall, you get more exercise. Which sport would you choose? Okay. Which sport would you choose? I guess una pregunta is a question. And letter B, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I might go and join. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, the first one. Go ahead, read I'm it. Not mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure, but I might go jogging two or three times a week. Okay. Thank you. Hector, number three. Okay, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Uh, what would you do if your car broke down? Is the answer number three. Okay. And three B, Hector? Three B, uh, sorry. If you could, you could and afford to fix this, you couldn't afford to fix this, I would have to walk everywhere. Is the answer no, number B? Okay, thank you. Nelly, number 4A. Teacher. Um, let me see. Le, uh, number four. Would you break into your house if you locked yourself out? Okay. Number two. Number two. Yes. Okay. And letter B. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have another key, I will ask a neighbor for help. Okay. All right. Well, very nice job. As we can see, we are learning and we are using it correctly. The if, the idea with the model, the verb in the present tense. Very good. All of our answers, as we can see, they're correct. That means that we practice and we understand the second conditional. Okay. Um, Ivan, did you have a question? Yeah, I have. I'll repeat the, the answer in the feels the big part uh, in a, a is if you have the months and the b or the c what's he oh, okay let's do the answer thank you oh, no. yeah. it's okay it's okay it's okay all right perfect okay. Okay. Great. all right so let's take a look all right what are we going to learn we're going to learn how to describe events okay so here we're going to first learn a few antonyms. Antonyms are words that are opposite, opposite of each other. So let's learn a few more words and introduce them to our vocabulary. To know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept, admit, agree, borrow, deny, disagree, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember. Save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the words. We have many of them. Um, we, as we can see, 
we're going to match them to their opposite. So with our partners, we're going to take a look. Word power antonyms. It's in our platform. Remember, um, 5.5 in our platform. And with our partners, we want to get the antonyms. What are the opposite words for those? What do you think are, are the opposite? Are we ready? Yes. Yes? All right. Super easy. Only a few minutes. Very short. Discuss with the partners, and then we come back. To know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. To know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary. Take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny, disagree, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. Lend. All right, are we ready? Let's take a look. So we have the first example, accept, refuse. What about admit? What is the opposite of admit? Deny. Excellent, that is correct. Admit, deny. What about agree? Disagree. Disagree. Agree, disagree. Super easy. We already have two of them right there. Bam, bam. All right, super easy, right? Now, what about borrow? What is borrow? I think it's save. Okay, borrow. Hmm. No. Land. 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 Yeah. Better. Correct. Borrow land. That's better. Mm -hmm. 
Good. What about dislike? Enjoy. Enjoy. Very good. Dislike. Enjoy. Divorce. Marry. 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 Yeah. Find. Lose. 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 Good. Forget. Remember. Remember. Good. Uh, remember, we, we had the word lend. Lend was borrow. 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 Lend was borrow. Good. What about uh, spend? Save. 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 Those are the last one. Save and spend. Any words that you don't know? Any words that you're not clear about or are confused with? I'm confused with borrow. Lend mm -hmm. is to give someone else, right? Correct. So and borrow. So Nelly, when you when you want to uh, grow your business or when you want to buy a house, you go to Banco Agricola, and you you borrow money. Banco Agricola lends you money. So when we say borrow, is when we ask for for something correct oh and lend is when someone gives you something correct okay mm -hmm. that's the difference great any other questions okay perfect so let's take a look. yes sorry sorry no no, no it's okay uh, when in, in which situation we have to use deny deny is when you don't accept an accusation or a statement so did you hit your wife did you hit your girlfriend no i did not i deny this okay deny is the negar right yes correct yes mm -hmm. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other words? No. Okay, good. Let's go for the next objective right here. Um, Nelly, can you please read? By the end of this class, participants will be introduced to past models in order for them to talk about actions in the past. Exactly. So in this moment, we're going to learn how to describe actions in the past using past models. Here, we're going to learn and watch a little video, then we're going to practice. Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have? So what are we going to use to describe in the past? We're going to use the word have. Have. We're going to use should have, would have to describe actions in the past. And now we're going to use the past participle. This is when Nelly asked about a few days ago, what is the difference between have or had? When you use have and a verb is because it's an auxiliary and you have to use the verb in the past participle. That's going to be the difference. So always when we want to talk in the past, we're going to use the model, which is my opinion, I would have, or you should have, right? And then the verb in the past participle. Hmm. Let's see some examples. If done. You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. 
And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two. You saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Now, let's take a moment so that it's clear for us how to answer it. There are two main ways to answer. There is what I would do, me, and then there is what I think you, my partner, my friend, should do. If you notice, I'm going to normally, I'm going to answer I. I would have, I wouldn't have. When I talk about you, you should have, you shouldn't have. I am not going to say you would have. I am not going to say you wouldn't have. This is not normal in most situations. In most situations is you shouldn't, you should. And in most situations is I would or I wouldn't. As an example in number one, Daniel, the teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled all coffee all over it. Tell me about you. What would you have done? And for me is I would have borrowed on my favorite book. Mm -hmm. Read the information. Make sure you understand what it's what happened. What is the situation? Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Okay. Uh, um, so this for, means Daniel that you gave me your uh, favorite book and you should have. You should have. Okay. What would you what? have done, Daniel? You. What would you have done? One moment. Think about it. Think about it. Xiomara has a question. Go ahead, Xiomara. The, uh, your teacher borrowed your book and spilled coffee. Or, uh, I, I say uh, you should borrow your favorite book. Sure. No, Xiomara. No. No. Okay. One more time. Shouldn't. Uh huh. Borrow your favorite book. More or less, Xiomara. I understand your idea. Not the correct grammar, but I understand. All okay. right. Go ahead, David. Yeah, I, I have only one question. Yes. When you ask to actor, you said, what would you do? Correct. Or you can say to what should you do? No. Why? Uh -huh. Because uh, so uh, what should you do? He's not going to give opinion for himself. He's going oh, to make a decision okay. for himself. Ah, okay. okay what okay, should I, I do? What should I do? He give his opinion to me. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. And, and that, another thing. Yes. When when I say in a third person, for example, she wouldn't or she mm -hmm. should or or she or her her shouldn't or her should or she she shouldn't or they shouldn't. I don't know if I pronounce it good. <laughs> I don't know. If you understand me? No, David. Okay. Cuando es en tercera persona, para yo decir ella o él, 
Ajá. o ellos que ocupo should o wouldn't ah. o no aplica para tercera persona yes yes it applies to the third person and normally is should she should she shouldn't because it's your opinion is your opinion but David, you are married to Nelly. La conoce bien. Entonces, sabes que, uh, que, que hubiera hecho ella. So now, no should. Ah, she would. She wouldn't. This is the difference. Right? Should is your opinion, David. She should, she shouldn't. Is your opinion for her. Okay, right. in that case, for example, in this in this case, the, the teacher borrowed my favorite book. I say, I shouldn't fix it, or I shouldn't try to fix it, or I shouldn't uh, say sorry to the to the teacher. M maybe no, shouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Uh, wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yes, uh -huh. teacher. I wouldn't. One moment. One moment. Nelly I, had I, how Go ahead. Yes. Now. Okay. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee over it. Mm -hmm. I would keep the calm. I would good good idea. I would stay calm. I, I would stay, stay calm. calm. Correct. That is correct, Hector. Okay. Good, Nelly. Okay. In my opinion. The answer could be, I wouldn't lend you my book. Correct. It's your decision. Okay. Nelly, what happened? It happened to me. It happened to me. Now Nelly is not going to say I. Oh, Nelly is going to give me her recommendation to me. You should. And this is the grammar at the beginning. At the beginning, if we see the word you, ah, I'm going to use should. If I use I, I'm going to use would. I right? got it, teacher. So if you decide your decision, okay, what you do, I, uh, in the moment you say I, I would. I wouldn't. Ah. When you talk about the other person, the moment you say you, ah, you should. You shouldn't. It's okay? Yes. Okay. So just to be clear, because I see a little bit of confusion is, okay, debería, should, no debería, shouldn't, would, hubiera, wouldn't, no hubiera. Right? This is the idea. So I would, mm, yo hubiera. I wouldn't, yo no hubiera. I have a question. Please. When we make a question, we can use should with the pronoun I. Correct. It and can be would. And you're going to use would with you. Oh, only for questions. Just because the pronoun is different. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I, I'm a little confused with the question with should, should I and would you? Uh, oh. Because with the affirmative sentence, uh, we use... Al revés. <laughs> but it's the same as everything in all the uh, questions. Uh, okay. Yeah. What do you do? Right now. It, no, oh. your job. What do you do? I work. ¿Y por qué me contestaste I si yo te pregunté you? Uh, uh, I said I. I work. ¿Sí? Sí, yo entendí, pero yo te dije, uh, what do you? Y vos me contestaste, ¿sabes? Ah, uh, what do you? Uh, uh, I, 
I attend Kiosk. Because you ask her. Uh -huh. Xiomara? Do you understand, Xiomara? What do you do? Exacto. Yo te pregunté, what do you do? Y tú me contestaste, I. ¿Verdad? Mm. Yes. Okay. Let me change. Xiomara, what do I do? What is my job? What do I do? Uh, you are a teacher. Oh, Xiomara, pero yo te pregunté con I. ¿Por qué me estás contestando con you? Because... Uh, Exacto. Porque we are son... talking about you. Exacto. <risa> o sea que vos mismo te complicaste aquí porque ya lo haces uh... naturalmente. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, Xiomara? Okay, teacher. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I got it. You got it? Perfect, Xiomara. Don't worry, it's very Thank normal. It, we, in Spanish, we like to complicate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, remember, when you begin with you, you're going to give the sentence should or shouldn't. When you begin with I, you're going to say would, would. Is that okay? I see Daniel, yes. Yes, teacher, only for a clarification, uh, so yes. only for clearing. Yes, yeah. no problem. When, when I use the past models, for example, uh, when I use would have or should have for you and for me, Mm -hmm. This in Spanish, it means si hubiera hecho algo. For example, for example, if I would have run, it's in Spanish, it means hubiera corrido. Correct. In the in the for this use the same uh, verb is you should have run. It means deberías haber corrido. That is correct. That's correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So it, that's why it's always in the past. The ideas for the past. I This situation happened. Oh, the police stopped me. The, the, I forgot my passport. Oh, I went to the restaurant and I didn't have money. Ah, I would have ta-ta-ta. You should have ta ta ta. It's okay the difference. Okay, okay. In Spanish, uh, it's uh, normally used that uh, that's con conjunction uh, about this verb because it's in past. Correct. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got that's it. Great. I got it. That. Yeah. All right. Is Perfect. That, yes. Um, with the example, um, should be he should have drunk the coffee before re 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 let's with the correct. yes, that, yes. Person. yes, yes, correct. Ah, exactly, that is possible. Okay. he should have drank the coffee before reading the book, exactly. Okay. Yo se lo hubiera cobrado. I would have charged him the book. Yeah. yeah. Tú deberías de haberse lo cobrado. You should have charged him the book. Él no debería de haber tomado. He shouldn't have drunk coffee and read the book. So, very good, Carla. You got the idea. Teacher, this is uh, for um, como lamentarse. Yes. To what okay. exactly? Exactly. It's for in the past, for different situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, uh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. my daughter is pregnant. My daughter is pregnant. What can I do? Nelly, what can I do? You're our mother. My daughter is pregnant. What can I do? <laughs> And then Nelly give me her opinion. You should for me. <laughs> she should for my daughter. I would for Nelly. And this is the ideas for the difference. How does Nelly make the decision? Using the grammar. I 
would. I wouldn't. She should. She shouldn't. You should. You shouldn't. Yes, Daniel. Oh, for example, hey, I only wet for the for the rain. Okay. Yeah. What is the answer? Uh, you shouldn't have to use an umbrella. You should have used an umbrella. Okay. Uh -huh. I would have, because... I would have had an umbrella. Correct. Oh, I would, yeah. I would have had an umbrella. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sure. Yes. And then the structure is the, the now plus should or good plus have. Always have for the past. Correct. Always we use half for the past tense. Mm -hmm. Good. So now we're going to practice. Okay. Now with our partners, we're going to go and we're going to discuss different situations, your problems. <gasps> Ay, mi esposo nunca quiere limpiar los platos, nunca quiere recoger los zapatos. Ay, mi mamá siempre me está regañando. Oh, whatever. Ay, my mom is always angry. My dad is this. And my boss, my boss. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to give you opinion. I would. You should. I could. Ah, uh, the different. It's okay? Okay. So let's, let's tell your partner your problem. Tell your partner your problem. And then your partner is going to give you the opinion and recommendations. Okay, let me see. Now we only have, oh, very nice. Now we only have two oyentes. All right, getting better and better. That's what I like. Okay. Let's put this here. One, Davis, you know, okay, Hector, Ivan. All right, let's do it. Remember, give the problem and your partner give the opinion, suggestions. I would, okay, or you should, you shouldn't. For example, if I say I I got late to my job this morning. But you must use I would have Wouldn't and then the the okay. verb in past. Okay. In past okay. participle. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, exactly. So, okay, so, for example. Okay, okay. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Teacher, so, let me mind. give you an example. Okay. Nelly says. Uh, I I arrive late to my job. 
Yeah. Okay. Then Daniel is going to say, you should have. You should. Yeah. You should have. You should have. Uh, wake you should up. have left early. You should have left early. Or you should Ivan, Ivan can say, I, I would have had two alarms. I would have put three alarms. I, for example. In this, to, in these situations, <laughs> I can use to. If I were you. Oh, okay. Correct. You can use okay. if I were you, I would have. I would. No boyfriend. Exactly. Okay, for example, I have a situation. For example, mm -hmm. yesterday I was I, I go at a party yeah. and I drunk. Don't like to wake up early. And you crash your car. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Okay. You shouldn't have or um, have. Correct. Have. You shouldn't have had alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I and I respond. I you I would have. Um, no, you don't respond. Don't, don't drink. No, mm -hmm. you don't respond. This is another another recommendation. Not necessary. You should. I wouldn't. I I me. I would have used a. Uh, Okay. I wouldn't have. For I would. Example, I wouldn't have. Drink so Daniel, you had an accident yesterday. I, Daniel, I would have used an Uber. Yeah. But then Nelly yeah. says, "No, no, you shouldn't have drunk." Ah. Yeah. Okay. The, I have an example. I and you can be used by the other person. The other mm -hmm. person, not you. I oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, you should. Okay, I check on the other groups. You continue practicing. Watch. Okay. okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, Ibrahim. 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 But the pro but the problem is that I don't I don't like watch TV in English. If it's a Tyler, when you watch a movie, you can put the subtitles there. Okay. 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 Okay, another problem? The same, yeah. remember, the same with I. You can put the subtitles. I would put the subtitles. Oh. So it's the same. You should put the subtitles for him. And then for mm -hmm. you, what you do, I would, I would pick movies with no subtitles. I would select movies in Spanish, I whatever your decision is. Okay. Okay. Okay, so yes. another uh, problem. I. Um. I don't sleep it tonight, and I have to wake early. What can I do for sleeping? Quick. Well, I should, I should put, I should listen music, instrumental music. Not correct. I should. I have, would. You have to I say would. I would. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. I will. I will put music, and I'm trying to sleep with instrumental music, and I. Suggest you that you should put instrumental music too. Exactly. That is the correct okay. one. Okay, good. Good. Continue practice. Okay. Uh, let me see another problem. I don't know what can I do because this Saturday I need to go to the church with a new wonder. You should. Underline the main uh, the main ideas if you have to to do at the end of your course some uh, quiz or something like that and also you should ask for a partner if you don't understand what is about the course. 
I'm going to say another problem okay. that, that I have. What what should I do if in the in the rest of the day I can't go out to a park? No, no, it's another no. <laughs> Wait a minute. What should I do if my daughter doesn't want to clean her bed or make her bed? Sorry. It's an invent. Okay. You you should to you should have to um you should to have to to do to to tell to tell her that he that her can can do it uh, one one more time and you can say you can say if she is do it you you llevar, llevarla I think it's Cherry. Cherry to the park. If if she hey, Hector, make the sentence, <laughs> make the sentence. Yeah. Go. Yeah. If she if she do it. Okay. If she make the make the bell. Okay. Say the sentence, Hector. Say the sentence. Yeah. Okay. If what you what you do it. What? No, no, the, the answer for Flor. Es que te tardaste como, como tres minutos y no se te entendió okay. en lo que estaba diciendo. Así que, go. Okay. Uh, you should have to talk with your daughter if she oh. has the, make the bed. Okay, so, so, no have to. Okay. You, okay, you should, but the two, no. You should have talked to your daughter. Okay. You Good. should have talked your talk your daughter. No. El, el tú lo tenés al revés. You should have. You should have talked. Talk to. To daughter. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. You should have talked to your daughter. Correct. To make okay. the bed and then correct. Make the bed. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Carla, Carla va a decir lo mismo, pero I. Ella va a decirlo con I. Go ahead, Carla. I will have to inform me. <laughs> and no, no, that an advice for her. Yes, an advice for her. Usando I. Igual que dijo Hector, the same. I will have advice. Um, show uh, some pictures um, where the room is tidy is on the now. Okay. So, so, Carla, a little confusing, but okay. So, the same for Hector. Hector... Hector said, you should, right? You should talk with your daughter. The same for you. I, I would have talked with her. Do you see the difference? Only the difference, the grammar, I would or you should. But the other is the same, okay? All right, let's take a look. Continue practicing. Practice it one more. Great to chat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what should you do? What should you do if you love your boss uh, is is angry in the morning when you come? You get you get. You get home. You get sorry. You get at your job. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I didn't understand. What what should you do if mm -hmm. your boss is angry when you get at your job? You understand me? Yes, now yes. Okay. You should um, you should have arrived early and complete all the activities in the work in many times. Uh, Good, Carla. Good. Flor, lo mismo okay. que dijo Carla, pero usando I. Okay, I will have ask him why he's upset. Okay. Because I, guess. I need an explanation. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. I would have asked him. Good idea. Exactly. So you have the same thing. I would have asked him. Okay. Or reverse. I would have arrived on time. I would have been there. Uh -huh. This is the ideas. Much better. Okay, good. Let's go back to the main group. Okay, much better. I see. Still, we need to practice a little bit more, but it's getting better. Now, remember, it's two forms to say the same thing. One is with me, the example, I, I would, the activity. I would have the activity, okay? The other is my opinion for you. You should have the activity, Okay. In my house, there is no water. I didn't take a shower because there is no water. I know I would have used the water from Cristal. You should have used the water from Cristal, for example. This is the same information. The difference is what I do or what I think you can do or the third person. Is it okay, the difference? Yes. Yes, teacher. I got it. Okay. Don't worry. We still have two more days, but tomorrow the idea is for us to finish up the unit and make sure that way we... I don't like in the last day to try to complete everything. No. I like tomorrow, and then if we need more time, we have more time. But we're going to try tomorrow to begin the exam, Okay. Good. Any okay. questions for tonight? No? No, teacher. Thank you so much for connecting. I hope you have a nice night and I see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good have a peaceful good night. night, guys. Bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow. English. <laughs>